Hey guys. Well, you know what? I'm just going to sit right out now. I haven't done one of these videos for a long time. So try and guess right now what kind of a video it is. Hmm, can I guess it? No. Gaming setup. Finally going to be doing one. Yeah, I'm going to be doing my 2015 gaming setup. What, what it is and what is in it and all the new stuff and just things like that. So you may have seen bits of it and clips and pictures and all of that. But I thought I'd do a proper kind of tour of it and show you all the details. So I just thought I'd do a 2015 one. So we're going to start off something small um, where I started on YouTube pretty much. This thing. 50% off. <laughs> well... This is my old laptop. I started, if I just open it now, I started on this laptop for YouTube. I used to have like a camera in my hand up against the screen trying to do Minecraft videos when Anacraft started up. And I made my channel on this laptop, started uploading. I did everything on this laptop to start and making all my stuff and clips and pictures, and graphic design, all of that. And that's where it started. So I thought we'd start the video with the origin. And he's in his rightful place on the bed there. He's got ownership of the bed. He's not a dominant laptop but he's on the bed so anyway now we move on to the big part like that literally i have everything here right there in one where i started this was my setup originally now look at the size so i went from that setup oh wait i'm lying i went from that setup to that setup <laughs> it's amazing There's like a huge difference so um Let's uh, turn a bigger light on. I've only got a little lamp on at the moment. Still can't see that well. But I'm just gonna sit down in my. Ch like, I'm gonna get a proper office chair hopefully soon, but they're quite expensive, so. You know, I haven't got that kind of money to just go splashing out on an office chair, so let's pull it up a bit. Got my game, uh, Euro Gamer t shirt. So, we've got Turtle Beach headsets. I can't remember which ones they were. Tell the light, I've got the box <laughs> right here. That's convenient. Um, Toe Beach Air Force PX11's Universal Stereo Gaming Headset. And they work for PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. And um, they're 50 millimeter speakers, I think. That's millimeter? Yeah, 50 millimeter speakers, um, independent volume control, and bass boost. So, like, the number one in gaming audio. They're really good and like I had two or three, no, two pairs of some other turtle beaches. I can't remember what they were. I think they were twenty dollars or one of that. I don't know. But I had um, two other pairs of turtle beaches, and they broke like after about half a year, like six months each. They broke. So I went through two of them in a year. I've had these about a whole year now. So one of these lasts the same amount of time as two of the other turtle beaches I had, but then more, because they're still going perfect. Like, they're absolutely amazing. Great sound, great microphone, and um, there's a little thing down there that controls the volume and stuff, and it is just really comfortable as well. So that's like a really good headset. I definitely recommend getting these, the Air Force PX11s. Recommend them to the heavens and above. So that's the uh, headset that I use for my TV, and I used to use that microphone for um, commentaries on my gaming, but now I got this thing. And, um, we'll move on to that in a minute. As I've said in all my other um, videos for um, my setups, most important part right here, without it, I wouldn't be able to turn up the volume stuff. Actually, I'm lying, I could do it up there, but you know, easier with a remote. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, PS3. This is one of the newer, newest controllers I had, they were like 40 quid. I got two of these, exactly the same red ones, for 80 pounds. And that's like $120, I don't know, one of that. But you can see the damage. I accidentally, because I used to have an office chair with wheels on, I accidentally backed up onto this somehow with the wheels and it like split this, because it was on the, the, I dropped the controller on the floor and when I went to pick it up, I like kind of scooted back like that, and the wheel on the end of the leg kind of went over it, but I've got a new chair now. So that's why that's like that. And then the other one has a button missing up here because I threw it by accident. <laughs> like, you may be thinking, how can you throw something by accident? Well, you can, trust me. You can. Like, I, I meant to throw it, but I accidentally threw it in the wrong direction. Like, instead of, I was going to just throw it on like my bed. But instead of just like, because I wasn't angry or anything, I was just like, yeah, I'm done gaming for the time being. I just kind of threw it on my bed, like casual, like a like that, and I ended up launching it, <laughs> like proper launching it, and I can't remember what it hit in the end, but 
it wasn't good. And um, so yeah, there's my keyboard, it's an Ace keyboard, nothing too special about the keyboard, it has like the two little stands underneath it. By the way, this video is going to be in parts, so probably like 9 to 10 minute parts each, something like that. But, you know, there's quite a lot of stuff to show you. So this is my keyboard. <laughs> I'm not going to type anything just in case, by accident. And um, there's my mouse, it's also nice. It all came as a package when I got my new PC, so this is pretty much um, all basic, if you say. Apart from the um, earphone, uh, earphone? Um, the speakers, which are creative speakers, so they're like relic creative speakers or something like that. But uh, this is the left speaker, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be left of the computer face me or left of me my left so I can do it, I don't know. But yeah, they're the um, speakers, so they're really good speakers, like, they've got great sound to come out of them. And that one's got, like, the on and off button and the little dial to turn the volume up, and they can get loud, so I've got it really quiet compared to what they can do. So, and then there's the Acer, like, monitor, and then I've got the Acer PC underneath. But, um, let's move over to this. Now this, you may think, is where the controllers have been. It's red. No. It's not. I don't know what's caused these. I have absolutely no idea what's caused these. I can't even get it off, it won't come off at all. It's weird. There's also like white ones as well. I don't know where they've come from. It might have been where I've packed it up from moving or something, so let's hit it, I don't know. Um, or I'm not it. But there's a PS4. For some reason it's in rest mode and it just won't come out of rest mode. But I think it looks cool, that little orange light there. So uh, see, yeah, I put the PS3 in front of the kind of thing, and then I have them like that. So there's kind of enough space in the middle for them, and then I've got the monitor and TV either side for when I'm like gaming or live streaming or something like that, or recording. So you know, then I've got the uh, TV, which is still original. I've had this since the start. Uh, Acoustic Solutions. Uh, you know, it's, it's a good TV, really good TV, pretty good remote. I don't know, I think that's either a universal remote or the original remote, or I don't know. But um, now I move on to the monitor, it's an Acer, a couple of buttons down there, not really too much to go with it, I'm not sure what size it is, but it's, I think, it may be about the same size as my TV screen. Now, the TV may look bigger because it's got these bigger, like, edges and frames around it and this has got smaller ones but I actually think the screen part of it like this little screen underneath the frames is the same size maybe the PC monitor is a little bigger than this screen but it does the job like it's a really big screen it looks small but it's not if you think it's small I started off gaming like, on my PS3 with this thing it's like an old Star Wars TV which is actually pretty expensive and if I put it on eBay it would be really expensive trust me it's that good because it's such a Kind of like, not memorabilia, but it's a fan object kind of thing. I can't think of the word for it now, but yeah, you get the point. So that's PS3, PS4, did the unboxing video for that, that you guys absolutely loved. And I don't know how it got that many views, but it's got over 2,000 views, so it's amazing. Uh, PS4 um, controller, which is original controller, but I put a skin on it that I got from Eurogamer when I went. So I would actually recommend to anyone like, this was £5, which I think is like 7 $8, I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe about $12, I don't know. But they are worth getting these. These are amazing, like, for gaming. It's got, like, little grips underneath there. But it, like, there is a huge difference between when you're gaming without a skin and when you're gaming with one. It's, like, really, like, kind of rubbery and, like, kind of grippy. But it's really good, and I would definitely recommend anybody to get these. Like, it increases the amount of accuracy you have on the game and everything. It, it It's amazing. And I know that sounds weird, but it is. It's just awesome, like, when you're gaming like this. And the controller's difference in size is insane. I don't know if you can tell by that, but playing with this, this is a lot smaller than that. Like, the PS3 controllers compared to the PS4 controllers, like, that one's tiny, that one's huge. So, you know, so we're going to move on to Christmas Octier, gangster. First ones I found, so we're gonna move on to this and then and all this in a minute. So I'll see you in the next video.